I want to start this all by giving all praise to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yom Shai, Ba'ashem, Rukam, Kadash. My double honor is the Apostle Great Milstein, and I honor see brothers in the work of the Milstein truth and in sincerity. Uh, you know, brothers from, you know, the London camp, um, Lord's all, you know, we have a spiritual mill for you, brothers. Uh, we'll see where the spirit leads. Um, yeah, if anyone's got any open and precepts or anything. Uh, this is 2nd Ezra, chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, measure down the time diligently in itself. <laughs> and when thou seest part of the science past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. You know? And you know, I just want to say that, wait, like, now's the time to measure the time diligently, man. You know, the scripture says, that we are to give diligence, you know, to make our calling and election sure. You know, if, if we do these things, you know, we will never fall, man. You know, so a part of being diligent is, you know, what watching as well as praying. You know, the hour of temptation is upon us soon. You know, the, the MOT is the MOTB is about to be pushed. Mm. You know, hot and heavy. You see what the draconian measures that they're pushing yeah. now with the uh, Omicron. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know. So um, they're, they're doing some stuff, man, on the left-hand side. You know, the false balance is an abomination to the Lord. Sure, sure. So we definitely got to be diligent. We got to be, we got to be pushing it on the right-hand side too, man. You know, so we got, we got work to do. You know, yeah. it says, therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Okay. Gonna get a precept on what you were saying, Bobo Kasha. It says Isaiah 62, 6 and verse 7. I have set watchmen, watchmen upon my walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence and give him no rest to be established until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That showed you the spirit that. You know the men of the Lord are going to be in. You know the sign and crying spirit. You know constantly. You know, um, you know, churning out this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, cursing out this wicked kingdom. Mm. You know that's the kind of spirit that a man of the elect is going to be in, man. Because he hates. You know, he's surrounded. He hates. You know, this wicked kingdom. Man. That's right. And his spirit is going to show that. You know, mm. hey, his spirit that was on the TV, man. Look. GMS Overdrive 144. Yeah. GMS, this is not your arrest, Jay. Wow. This is spirit. Wow. This is spirit. Wow. Give him no rest, man. No rest, yeah. you know? Hey, what Sweeper says here, we have no continuous seat, <laughs> but we seek one to come. This ain't, this ain't all. This, ain't, this, this is hell. This is hell, man. That's it. This is hell. In a nutshell, this is hell, man. Yeah. Uh, it's oh. like a. <clears throat> In the scripture, you yeah, you can yeah, read, read that last part again. This is, uh, back in Second Ezra nine and three, it says, "Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world." Yeah, so let's let's look back at that. Earthquakes. You no, know, it was in a recently Haiti. Mm -hmm. you know, second time, you know, I think over two k people just got flattened or more. You know what I'm saying? So that's a great destruction right there. That's a sign, you know. And you know, um, Haiti and all the Levites. Levitical priests, you know, that tribe, and also it says protest, right? Uh, was it Uproars people? of the yeah. people, yeah, yeah. 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 protest, yeah. man. Yeah. What's happening? Society is divided. Yeah, you got the, the people mm. coming against the, uh, the government. If you saw the news, people were saying, "Look, look, man, I don't want, um, I don't want to wear masks anymore." Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of this shit. How many, how many yabs and jabs do I have to go through? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got people that are known as you know, anti maxers you know, people that are not down the system, like we're not down with the system, we're not down with the beast. So there's a lot of confusion, turmoil, turmoil and division. And this is a sign of the end times. You know? And the closer we get to these end times, you know, when more people start to give in to the devil, give in to the beast, give in to the, the MOTB, what's going to happen? It's going to be more apparent who are you standing for? Mm. Are you standing for Satan or are you standing for Yahweh Bishim You know what I'm saying? Mm. People are going to start knocking your doors, but hey, You've got to have faith in your heart, but you're shy. And this is Luke chapter 11, verse uh, 17. But he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. Wow. 
and a house divided against a house falleth. That's right. That's right. So it's falling apart, man. The economy is falling, falling apart. When you go into the economy, what it means a household of management. Yeah, the, the, the house of Esau is, is, is dying, it's decaying, it's being, it's being destroyed. Yeah, why? Because with the spirit power of Yahweh Shai, we're we'll, we'll, we'll putting this, this, this demonic kingdom on blast, mm -hmm. showing everything they did. You know, in, in Habakkuk, it says, Woe unto uh, establish a city with blood, establish a city with blood, can't water. Yeah. Exactly. So, yeah. we're, we're exposing yeah. everything they've been doing, mm -hmm. that they try to keep in secret and dark, it's been exposed. You know, you even got. Two thirds out there you know, slamming down statues and putting red paint on statues, you know, because they're tired of this, uh, of the lies and the BS, man. You know what I'm saying? I've got precepts on there. Right, this is Isaiah 19, uh, verse 2. And I will set Egyptians against Egyptians, wow. and they shall fight everyone against his brother, wow. and everyone against <clears throat> his neighbor, city against city, and kingdom against kingdom. Wow. So even within the kingdom, you fight against each other. You know, the Americans, you know, you've got the, the two different, different political classes. You know, you've got the um, Democrats. Democrats, Republicans, mm -hmm. you know, everyone's angry at the presidents, you know, angry, angry at each other. Yeah. That's a division right there. Especially yeah. Joe Biden. Yeah. Uh, with Joe Biden, they're calling him, they're calling Joe Biden a terrorist. Wow. You know, because of um, what he did over there in Afghanistan, you know, removed the troops from Afghanistan. Mm. You know what I'm saying? The people are they, they, what did our what did our sons and what did our sons yeah. die for? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So that's that division as mm. well, you know. And you got um, even the boss will say like Apostle Tom will say you got Democrats who don't even like this guy. Wow. Mm. You know what I mean? So that's that division, man. Like, in how well yeah. you know they're polls they you know they they're um the polls, they you know, yeah, they're not even very light, you know, Biden and yeah. Kamala Harris, they're um they you know, they're oh, um, their popularity is is yeah. 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 You know? Yeah. So, so um, Something stupid like that. It's really right. It's real enough. Yeah. You know. Yeah, so that's a sign of the downfall of this kingdom. Yeah. That's right. Got one more verse. And it says, And the spirit of Egypt shall fall in the midst thereof, and I will destroy the council thereof, and they shall seek to the idols and to the charmers, and to them that have familiar spirits, and to the wizards. You know, so this kingdom is failing in, in everything that it yeah. does, man. No, everything is going against us or evil. It says in the book of Job that um, I'll disappoint the devices of the crafty, mm -hmm. you know, and, and his hands will not be able to perform his enterprise, what we paraphrase it. And that's exactly what we're witnessing, man. You know, with this whole, you know, stab and jab, you know, with, uh, you know, him trying to control the minds of the people. It's, you know, very soon it's all going to backfire, man. Yeah. You know, all his plans are going to plummet and, he's, he, you know, his own council council is going to cast him down, like it says in the book of Job and in the book of Obadiah. Right? You know, so he's really just setting up his own pit that he's going to fall in, man. Right? You know? God, snark here. Um, uh, on what Bobby just said, uh, Isaiah 59, 19, So shall they fear the name of Yahweh from the west and his glory from the rising of the sun, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of your house shall lift up the standard against him. Right. You know, it's so like Bob was going into when he comes down, he's going to think, Oh, yeah, I've got them. But then by trying to get us, you know, all you're going to do is make the Lord come and protect us by giving right. us that spiritual power. It, however, it is that the Lord, you know, will, 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 will protect us, man. Right. So, you got it. Yeah, just to preach off the back of that, this is um, Psalm chapter 34, verse 7. The angel of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and deliver of them. So, hey, you know, in this crazy time that's coming, because that's how Esau rules, he's, he's bringing about this chaos, man. you got, you know, uproars happening all around, you got people being seditious coming up against government, you know, looting, all of that. All of that is being incited so that he can bring in the military, all that have chaos. But ultimately, when all this chaos is happening, Jacob's trouble, it's going to be the elect, the, 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 the ones that fear you, how about you shy, that are going to be protected in that time, man. You know, because the angels in camp around us we were protected by the Lord. You know? Yeah, that's it on that. Of course, uh, this is Isaiah 47, verse 12, but it says, Stand now with thine enchantments, and with a multitude of thy sorceries, when thou hast labored from thy youth. If so, be thou, thou shalt be able to profit. If so, be thou mayest prevail. Man. And Esau, he's very known for his uh, so called miracles, mm. you know, his, his technologies, you know, he, um, his. 
his ability to deceive the whole world, man. You know, through propaganda, you know, and so-called uh, democracy. Yeah, with his technology, you got a deep fake out there, mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. blue beam, all the stuff he wants to do to deceive the whole world, so that the whole world can conform to his agenda. You know, the the NWO. Yeah. You know. Yeah, go on. And if I could say, and that's why it's important that we, you know, sort of your folks on down a bit, but you know, we push the truth that is in the scriptures exactly. So that, like you said, with Project Blue, people are like, why does it matter what mm. color he was? Well, oh. when you know how he, how our Lord is described, how he is written that he's going to come back, mm. how it's written when he's going to come back, and mm. what circumstances mm. when Esau comes and pulls out this witchcraft, Project Blue, mm. Devious, whatever, you know that. No, doesn't know them. GMS yeah. brother says it has to be X, Y, Z. That's what yeah. it says in the scriptures. I've confirmed it. This is some BS, man. Sure. Sure. Uh, quick, uh, if I may, real quick, read this one. It's Matthew 24 and 24. But there shall arise a false Amashayakim and false prophets mm. and shall show great signs and wonders, insomuch that if it were possible, mm. they shall deceive the very elect. Yeah, there you go. Mm. So, so Esau's got technology out there. I can can fool people, man. You know, I, I believe I watched a YouTube a YouTube video a time ago where, like, he 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 created drones, but from the distance it looks like chariots, you know, flashing lights and uh, making them look like orbs. And hell, even uh, one of the movies that came out, Spider Man, um, I don't know if it was Far From Home or one of them. You got a guy called Mysterio, where he was actually deceiving the people of the Earth with drones, mm. making things look real. So that's a form of like Project Blue, Blue Beam and what technology Esau's got out there. Do you know what I'm saying? It, it said if, if it was possible, they could deceive the very elect. Yeah. So you're going to get people out there, you know, um, lacking faith or trying their best to endure but giving up. And then there's going to be things out there that will try to deceive you, man, in these last days. Right. right? Or to try and get you to, to yield to the beast. For instance, you, you might have a, a family women, kids, and stuff like that. And hey, you might tell your woman, look, don't take these yabs and jabs. Don't take the MOTB. But when it, everything gets hard, they start taking away your your homes, your benefits, and all of that. Then your woman, you know, is, is going to be weak in faith. Okay? So there's going to be things out there, systems out there, and trickery out there to try and deceive you or to get you to yield to the beast. Well, you've got to stand firm and endure. Mm -hmm. you know, for the spirit part of the Alpish from Shad. It's funny that you mm -hmm. mentioned that because there was this uh, American fashion designer that just passed, and his name's Virgil. And I, I sent you wow. the, the clip, and you know, pretty much they had all these orbs in the sky. All these, I think it was like his sort of like his funeral or something. Like, mm -hmm. Everyone yeah. was gathered together for like his, um, you know, for his passing. Mm -hmm. And um, the video was pretty much they had his, you know, his name and the lights in the sky. And, like, and it looked like it looked like chariots, but that's Esau's technology. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And it had his name V, his initials V A, and then it broke up, and it looked like just like multiple different like different colored orbs, wow. just floating in the sky, man. Mm. You know, so hey, Esau's got that technology, Project mm. Blue Beam, mm. yeah. and so on and so or holograms. Yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? But that's why hey, this week say the false prophets show great signs and wonders, mm. and if it were possible, they should deceive the very elect. See, we go we go by the prophecies. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's that's you know this this word. They have prophecies, and man, we stick to these prophecies, man. Yeah. You know, when you, when you stay in the bounds of the scriptures, you can't go wrong. Exactly. You just trust in your heart, show me how shine like what was always saying. If you don't tell you up with the scriptures, you know that ain't what it is, man. You know, our faith rests in the scriptures. I got a quick one. This is a Revelation 16 and 14. For they are the spirits of devils working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth. And of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the great day of the most high almighty man so these are the spirits of devils working miracles man. you know that's esau and Edom working these miracles and like the brother called by brought up the elect are not going to be deceived by these miracles man. you know those that lack faith that have no faith they're going to be you know rolled and astonished that you know the things that esau is going to be doing in these last days but the elect we're going to know what time it is man. Isaiah 33 uh, and 6. Yes, yeah. oh, oh, that's, spirit, spirit. Yeah. that's Isaiah chapter 33, verse 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times mm. and strength of salvation. Mm. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. Mm. So that's that, you know, to back up the brother, it's the wisdom and knowledge, man. That's what's going to keep the elect going through it and stable in these times. When everyone else is bugging out, they're seeing these holograms, they're seeing all this and that. Mm. 
you know, with all the different things. Because we, we know, because the Brother Carver mentioned earlier about the prophecies, that's the thing, the spirit of prophecy, the testimony of Yahweh Shai, the yeah. spirit of prophecy. We know, we know, we know what's happened, the history, we know the prophecy of what's going to happen. And we have faith in that, man. That's what's going to, that knowledge and wisdom is keeping us stable in the things to come, man. That day is not going to overtake us as a thief. You know, these rest, the rest of the people in this peace and safety spirit, they're going to get caught with their, with their pants down. Hey, well, we, we, we opened up with uh, Second Ezra 9, right? Mm. But we had to measure the time diligently. And how do we measure the time? We measure the time through these prophecies. Exactly. Yeah, that's why the Apostle Paul said <laughs> that, you know, ye brethren you know, are not in darkness and that they should overtake you as a thief. Mm. Yeah. You know, he said, what? Well, when they shall say peace and safety, but we're not in darkness, man. You know, you have no need that I write unto you. That's what I wanted to say. Mm -hmm. You know, Second Thessalonians, the fifth chapter. So we know, we know what's we know what's happening according to the prophecy. We thought it through the prophecy. Sure. The scriptures speak about us being um, watchmen. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, being circumspect. You know, redeeming the time because the days are evil. That's right. You know, I got a real quick one if I may. It says Second Thessalonians chapter two verse eight, and then shall that wicked be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders. You know, so he's still got that technology and he's proud of that technology. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, he's been given that technology by the power that we, we worship, that we praise. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, Esau can't do anything to us then. What the Heavenly Father hasn't put in his power to do. Just like Pilate. Exactly. Yeah, yeah exactly. He said, Yahweh Shai said that to Pilate. You know, because Pilate was bold to Yahweh Shai. Y'all got the power to release you, crucify you. Mm. Yahweh Shai, nah. You know? Mm. Quick one on that. It says, Job 14 and 5, seeing his days are determined, mm. the number of months are with thee. Thou hast appointed his bounds wow. that he cannot pass. Damn, so there's only so much Esau can do. Right, there's only so much of his agenda that he can achieve. Read that in Job the twentieth chapter. Right, so we needn't worry because our power is is uh, the one that rules over Esau. Right, and the Lord has said that you know Esau will be able to do X, Y, and Z, and that's it. And he can't go past that. Yeah, we're, we're essentially we're going over your authority, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. You, the earth has been given into the hand of the wicked, but guess what? Who gave you that? We we worship the power that gave that to you, man. He's up so so we worship the power that you know we the, the, the predicament that we're in. You know the heavenly father. He hey, he forms light, creates darkness. Yeah, yes, yeah. The heavenly father did this to us. He punished us through you. Exactly. So what you're doing to us is you're doing to us because the heavenly father gave it to the gave you the power to do that anyway. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But your power is about to be taken back from you. Yeah. Esau is the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning yeah. of the follow. That's the prophecy, man. Exactly. And that's so we're, we're measuring these. So, hey, when you're about to fill your belly, man, there's a power, there's balance that you can't pass, man. You know, precept what you just said. This is Psalm chapter 17, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, Bro. cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, Oof. which is thy sword. So, first of all, you know, hey, the point is that it's showing you that the sword of the wicked, the wicked is the sword of the Lord on the left hand side, mm -hmm. what to punish us. Mm -hmm. All right. But ultimately, he's going to be cast down, man. He's going to be put down, and Jake going to be going to be raised up. Mm -hmm. You know. So I got a quick one. Second uh, Peter one and nineteen. Um, we also we have also a more sure word of prophecy. Everyone too, ye do we ye do well, and ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in a dark place until the day dawn. And the day star arise in your hearts. So, mm. you know, we have a sure word of prophecy, man. You know, we go by the prophecies. That's that's what's guaranteed, man. You know, this word, the words of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Like it says in um, Isaiah uh, 55 and verse 11, man. Mm. You know, that the Lord's word is not going to return unto him void. Mm. So everything mm. that's written in these scriptures is actually going to play out yeah. exactly how it's written, man. Mm. Yeah. You know, that's why, you know, we come bold with these scriptures, man. All right? Mm. That's that sure word. Yeah. And the scriptures say there is no private interpretation. We didn't make this up, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we didn't just, you know, wake up one day and say, you know what, we're going to, you know, make up these breakdowns, we're going to connect this dot and that dot. No, this is from the spirit of power of Yahweh. You know, God, this is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, To the law 
and to the testimony. Mm. They may speak not according to this word, mm. it is because there's no light in them. No. You see, it's, it's that simple, straightforward, man. Anyone that's speaking against prophecy, you know, thinking that they can change and manipulate uh, the, the, the scriptures or, or Bible prophecy, no, there's no light in you. You're just full of darkness, man. And all these other uh, so called holy books, which they're unholy books, like the Quran and shit like that, yeah. They're, they're, they're void, man. That's what, right. what prophecies do they have that, that can um, ins and give you insight of, of the MOTB, of the coming destruction? The prophecy, yeah. All those prophecies and the coming of the Lord, yeah. East, East was a uh, uh, new world agenda, mm -hmm. yeah. So, how, how are you going to equip yourself? Yeah. How are you going to defend yourself in, in these dark times, times of persecution? You can't, man. Because them, them fake fake books, them war, war down books, they ain't got no knowledge, man. No mm -hmm. prophecies. We so can't, you, yes. So all you, all you, you Islamic nation of Islam or Hindu or whatever, all the religions of the world, yeah. But when you're calling your God, he, he ain't gonna be found, man. That's right. That's, that's, right. that's, that's right. It's crazy. Right. You said equip. How are you gonna equip yourself? Yeah. Scripture says that put on the whole armor. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. You know, that's these. That's the knowledge of some understanding of these scriptures. Yeah. yeah. Hey, can I quickly read this, man? Isaiah 34 and 16, just on the point, mm. emergency. Mm. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. Read. <laughs> None of these shall fail. None shall want her mate. Yeah. For by my mouth it have commanded, and his spirit it have gathered them. Oh, yes, right. You know, so this is, hey, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read, man. Yeah. You got guys, you got Israelites that are reading from the Egyptian book of the dead. Yeah. You got guys that are right there, yeah. reading from something called the Egyptian book of the dead. Yeah, and scripture says the most high is the God of the living. That's yeah, right. yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. Like, 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 like more abundant. Like abundant. You know, so you ain't got no business reading that some book called the Egyptian Book of the Dead, man. Oh, God. You know what I'm saying? Because this represents life. Exactly. You know? Even even on that, you're saying that, and that's that's really that spirit of Egypt once again, because Esau pushes doctrines of death. Mm -hmm. Well, you get these jakes that are, you know, Americanized, Westernized, or whatever you want to call it, that will be, you know, but that's not, no, that's not how it is quite. I mean, they to kill us. Mm -hmm. no, that, you're believing in doctrines of death. That's right. You know, the, you know, but, you know, doctrines of darkness, man. Mm -hmm. Anything outside this truth is straight up darkness, man. Okay. Hey, precept. Isaiah 13, 1. Woe to the rebellious children, say of the Lord, Yahweh, or Shem Yahweh Shai. That take counsel, but not of me, and that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves, right, in the strength of Pharaoh, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Uh, you it. know, if the black woman's God, <laughs> you know, uh, black unconscious community, yeah. you know, the Egyptian, but come on, bro, we ain't got no dealings with Egypt. Right. Said the gods of the nations are idols, man. That's right. That's some heathen yeah. shit. Learn not the way of the heathen, man. We have a power to connect to. We have a power to worship. His name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. All right? And there's no salvation under any name given among men whereby we yeah. must be saved. That's right. And that's a fact. And we believe in that, you know? And that's why the scripture says, seek ye out in the book of the Lord and read. You can't make this book with any other book, man. Ain't no other book like the brother Mutters I was saying earlier. They know of a book that's got the prophecies, man, telling you about the MOTV, mm -hmm. telling you about the state, you know, who's running the world, the wicked, who the wicked is, biblical nationality. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You talk about the Quran. Bro, the Quran came after the Bible, bro. So what's up? Mm -hmm. Who plagiarized who? Mm -hmm. who, added, who added and took away from whose book? Who was in left to square that time? I mean, yeah. <laughs> We told him that the power of the scriptures is prophecy, mm -hmm. and he was stumped. And we said, What prophecies does the Quran have? You know, in, in what prophecies are in the Quran? He said, Oh, headphones. Oh, I know that. Yeah. He said, you know, script, you know, the Quran scriptures speak about headphones, people wearing things in their ears. He said, Bro, headphones. He <laughs> 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 yeah. couldn't name any, anything else, man. Headphones, man. Come on, man. Yeah, so how, how are you going to know? If if you took the MOTB, you, right. how are you gonna know? Exactly. You ain't got no prophecies, man. Mm. See, it's, 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 it doesn't teach you anything about a time where they're gonna put a physical device in you where you're not gonna be able to buy and sell unless you have that. Mm. See, how, how, what are you gonna do then? Right. Mm -hmm. 
Well, yeah, first, didn't, didn't, to, to get into Dubai, to go to, you know, the cobblestone, you got to be fully, fully taped, man. Oh, sure. You know, because Dubai basically they ain't letting anyone in their country without something. Like, you can't move around in their country without getting a thing, man. Wow. Right? Same with the land of Israel. Mm. Right? So, really, so what, uh, you guys, have you got the truth or not? The answer is no, bro. And you just mentioned about the cobblestone, right? Mm. Uh, let me read this. This is Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 27. Say unto a stock, thou art my father, and to a stone, thou has brought, thou has brought me forth. For they have turned their back unto me, and not their face. But in the time of their trouble, they will arise and they they will say, "Arise and save us." But where are thy gods that thou hast made thee? Let them arise if they can save thee in the time of thy trouble. You know, so you got Jake worship, big carving stone. You know, taking trips to Mecca, all kinds of stick. You know, Jake. You know, walking around with their hands behind their back. You know what I mean? Talking better Arab than the damn Arabs, yeah? You remember Apostle Tom said that one time, Jake be talking better Arab than the damn Arabs when they get all up into Islam, man. You know, they be super diligent in the prayer five times a day and all of that with the mat, washing their feet and all of that. Jake be doing that shit, man. You know, when, which Allah just means power, man. That's a Hebrew word. It just means power, bro. Okay? And we worship the true power. That's right. You know? And his name is Yahweh, man. You know, and his son's name, and we can't say it enough. Mm. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai. And that's a nomen omen. That means he the deliverer, man. And who's he coming back to deliver? Yes. The elect of the nation of Israel from our enemies, man. Yes. That tells you that the Lord ain't coming back for everybody. Because, hey, in order for us to be, need to be delivered, we're going to need to be delivered from other people. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because we're in bubble, man. We're prisoners of war to this day. We're in the land of our captivities. They shall remember themselves and call upon my name. You know, this is John chapter 4, verse 23. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. So you gotta know the names of the Heavenly Father. You gotta know what's pleasing unto him. You gotta know you gotta know this this word, man. You gotta know this knowledge and understanding. Yeah, you know. God is oh God, allow him for that. That, that's going to lead to your destruction. Yeah, yeah, because it's not truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it, that's why. See, that's why the apostles, the elders, apostles, they always encourage, you know, going into words, the etymology, you know, going to the Hebrew. You have to, man. Otherwise, it's going to be like them other Israelite groups calling on Jesus the Christ. What, what, what do you? How are you going to go from Christianity to to go speaking speaking like that? What's that? That's that's darkness, man. You know, the Lord was a Hebrew, so why you got Hebrew names? Yeah, if your Lord's a Hebrew, then you go you go call you, your Lord his proper name, man. You go put respect in his name, like what was it, Bert, man? You go put respect on the, the Lord's name, man. It's Yahweh, why yeah. Yahweh Shai, man. That's who we worship. Okay. Yeah? I got a preset. You finish on that one. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What was that, John 4? 4, 4 23. Oh, I was, I was going to be 24. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. That's very, 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 John 4 and 24. Mm. Um, the most high is the spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Did you read that bit? No, no, no. That's the spirit. Because yeah. that, that came in my mind. Because like, you can't you can't just worship your how about Shimmy Shai how you want to worship him. Exactly. You know, because a lot of people say that, oh, well, you know, you worship him in different ways. Like, oh. you know, I call him this and you call him that. It's the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's not the same thing. You're going to have to correct the dress, man. You know, if you send a letter to the wrong address, it's going to a different location. That's Just because you think of it in your mind, not it's going to end up where you think it's going to go. Oh, that's right. You got to have the correct um, entry, uh, entry requirements to worship Yahweh Shem Yahshai, and that includes having his name. You know, knowing what he looked like according to the scriptures. You know, um, knowing you know um, what tribe he was from. You know, everything, man. The doctrine, everything. The doctrine, yeah. The most importantly, the doctrine, man, that's, right. that's been bestowed upon us through the Spirit and Power of Yahweh Shem Yahshai. By well, the uh, apostles and elders, man. right? Yeah, in order to get on a chariot, man, you got to know the names, bro. Yeah. Like even when you was bro, even back in the days when I used to go to the clubs, man, I used to hit up the clubs. Mm -hmm. You you know, you might go to a VIP or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yo, who's guest to see you on? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You mention the wrong name, you ain't you ain't That's getting true, in. Yeah. Right. You ain't you mention the wrong name, bro. Get to the back, but get out of the fucking queue, man. Right? What was that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
um, when you take off your mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Eyes wide shut. Eyes wide shut. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Isaiah 8 and 20, to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. Mm -hmm. Spirit, yeah. Mm -hmm. You read that already as well. That's the Spirit. Oh, God. It's about that light. Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 60, um, 1. Yeah. That light has come, you know. Yeah. And, and the scriptures also say, let that light shine before men. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, about yeah. that light. It's all about that wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. You know? Yeah, you have that Christian song, this little light of mine. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And, then, and then, hey, hey, the Christians, you know, a broken clock could be right, <laughs> right, mm -hmm. right twice a day. Mm -hmm. hey, on that, that you know, that that's that's a correct statement, man. Mm -hmm. You've got a light that has, you know, has been blessed unto us, and we've got to let it shine, man. Mm -hmm. Right, so that you know, switch talk about you know, you can't be hidden under a bushel. Yeah, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, have you ever seen that? You might be what you call walking down a down a, a, a dark road. And the only light is kind of hidden by trees. You can't really see where you're going. It's like, oh, no, the light has to shine so people can see where they're going, man. Because right. you also have the uh, blind, uh, leave the blind, all sharp, all in the ditch. ditch. Okay. Precept. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 14. Yeah, the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Mm. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works mm. and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Uh, see your good works. So what, what's been a good work? You know, your videos going out to teach in the Harris and Barry's. You see how windy it's been, mm. freaking cold, but you still got to go out there, man. Mm. You still got to go out there and teach. You've got other camps out there taking breaks, man. In season, you know what I'm saying? In season, out season. Yeah. You only want, want to teach in summertime. That's it. How, how are you going to be yeah. scoffing with a hot cup of coca, marshmallows? Yeah. You know, breaking it down, room. Hey, you're, you're, you're on your warm winter socks, the heating's on 25, mm. right? You just, just chilling and cool, but you know, you got the apostles been out there for decades, man. Come on, man. You know, uh, you, you know, and, and the flesh, man, you know, that are, you know, they're older and everything, mm. right? In the flesh. Right, and obviously in the spirit, as I meant, you know, trying to say it politely, but out there, just you know, just but they're doing the work, man. We're just in your in your bloody yard in the heat, having the cocoa and everything, yeah. right? Just you know, uh, mocking and scoffing, man. Yeah. Where are your works? Where are your works, man? You know, yeah, they're hypocrites, man. Yeah, man. You know, they're hypocrites. They're not really about anything. You know, these scoffers leave them comments. You know, you know, they're not even making videos against about what they believe. They don't mm. really, they're not solidified in anything, man. No foundation. They don't really believe they, yeah, they've got no foundation. You know, we believe in Yahweh Shin Yahshai. That's why, you know, through the fear of the Lord, we persuade men. You know, we actually fear the Lord. You know, the Spirit is on us to, to push videos, to go out there on the highways and the byways, you know, and to dedicate our life, you know, as living sacrifices pursuant to Romans 12, you know, for this gospel, man, because we actually believe in it. Scoffers don't believe, man. You know, they don't have faith. You know, they don't have enough faith to go out there and preach. They don't have enough faith to upload a video mm -hmm. and to make a stand for anything. That's yeah. why they will fall for anything. Man. Yeah. So, Please, yeah. uh, go ahead. Go. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll do it. It's the second Peter's three and three. Knowing this first that they shall come in the last day scoffers walking after their own lusts. Right, um, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the from uh, the beginning of creation. Right now, going into that, so knowing it's first shall come on the last day scoffers. Right, and what you, you've been seeing that, man. Right now, you you know, the lot the scoffs are becoming less and less, just but that's purely because they're um, this truth is coming on, they, they're basically seeing the things, uh, uh, rather, the things that have been prophesied are starting to come to pass, man. What the scripture saying in Ezekiel 33, 33, where when these things come to pass, it shall be said, Lo, you know, there's been a prophet among them. But these scoffers, they're still out there, right? Um, and, and, and what do you call it? It says, walking out there, I'm not saying things that they, you know, that they just believe, right? You know, just things that they pluck up from the top of their head. Right? However, we have the scriptures. When we say, make certain statements, we can back them up in the scriptures, man, Okay. Right, and where's the promise of his coming? You know, uh, uh, for since the fathers fell asleep. So, like, oh, you might have been saying the Lord is going to come back for ages. How is this any different? 
right? Or you might tell them, oh, yeah, you know, the economy is a bit, you know, it's, it's, it, it, you know, you know, you're speaking incognito. The economy's not doing too well. Nah, you know, the economy all bounce back. It will bounce, all of that nonsense, man. Look, man, this place is over, and you have these scoffers that ultimately they're just playing their position. Bro, you have the, 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 the men of the Lord, they're playing their position. You have the scoffers, they're playing their position. Right, you got the other citizens of Israel. <laughs> well, what did that? How do the apostles put it? It just is, relax. You know, just forget it, man. You know. Go. <laughs> he said, he finished. Bro. Yeah, he got it. Bro. This is a Hebrews four and two. For mm-hmm. unto us was the gospel preached, as well as unto them, but the word preached did not profit them, not being mixed with faith in them that heard it. You know, so the key ingredient you need for this truth, man, is, is faith, you know, mixed with the word. All right. And not everyone has the gift. of Faith is a gift, you know, and it's not given to everybody, man. You know, and that's why we got to like, you know, we got to earnestly contend, you know, for the faith. You know, like it says in Jude, you know, it's, you know, fight to keep, you know, that, that gift of faith that we've been given. And that's, that how, that's how you show diligence, man, you know. That's how we show diligence, man, like, where we fight to stay in the fight, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? And we're at the we're at the last rounds now. Yeah. And I remember Elder Ramar saying one time, he said, Look, man, when, when you're in the last round, in the last rounds in boxing, the last round is it gets it's the toughest, mm. and that's when you're at your most, you know, your your limit, but that's when it matters the most. That's when you go yeah. deep deep. Mm. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, we're gonna have these scoffers and scorners, yeah. man, which they ain't really saying too much now because some of them, most of them are probably boosted. <laughs> <laughs> most of them are probably <laughs> He's got the juice guy, the dragon shit. Oh, yeah, you know, they, 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 they fuck you, man. Like, what what yeah. we've been saying, starting with the apostles and elders on down, hey, it's coming it's coming to pass. Right. Yeah. But we're quoting Ezekiel 33. Lo, it will come. Then shall they know, man. Yeah. You know, yeah. so we're going to have to eat them words. Yeah. 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 No, so I was going to say, it's like, it's like um, right now, where you know you get certain films and then you can see like one army being set up on one side. And then um, another armor being set up, and that's what we're seeing, man. Where it's this spiritual battle that's about to just be had, which Esau's gonna make a carnal, man. Esau's about to make this shit carnal, and JK yeah. ready for it. Yeah, sword is being shot. Yeah, yeah. You know, concentration camps are being prepared. Yeah, the troops, the drones, all of that. Yeah, and it's gonna descend upon you, man. <laughs> you, that's the shape of struggle, man. Yeah. You know, but all that scoping and scoring in that day. It's, Gonna be in crickets, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's when you're gonna be running yeah. around like headless chicken. Oh, what were the man? Yeah. Oh, please too late. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Oh. Call you upon him while he is there. You know? Mm. Can I got you said you had to come, but yeah, oh, for one. This is Proverbs 1, verse 24, and it says, Because I have called mm. and ye refused, I stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at no all my counsel and with none of my reproof. Yeah, so how is the Lord speaking to you? No, how is the Lord speaking to you? From the spirit and power of Yahweh, from shout from the, the elders, apostles on down. We've been telling you the truth, telling you who you are. You're the Israelites, no? You so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Hispanics, and those that are scattered, no matter how your, your, your appearance may be. Yeah, but through, through the spirit, you know, you link up with the scriptures, and your characteristics you link up with the scriptures. It reveals that you're, you're children of the Most High. Yeah, we've been telling you the doctrine. We've been telling you to repent. No, we've been telling you, hey, don't take them jabs and yabs. Mm-hmm. Don't don't take the MOTV. Yeah. Don't worship the beast. Yeah? Go Ultimately, on. don't trust this devil. Don't trust this devil. Don't trust Esau. Because mm-hmm. that's, that's the thing. So mm-hmm. our people don't understand our enemy. Read yeah. Psalms the 83rd chapter. Mm-hmm. It says, you know, it lists our enemy. But primary, the first person nation it names is Eden, man. You tell them, look, this is the Edomite. This is the nature of an Edomite. And this is the hatred that an Edomite has for you. Mm-hmm. Right? So now this information, what you go and do? Mm-hmm. Right? Yeah. 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 Well, we'll say, because, you know, people will look at this, oh, but, you know, it's just a, just a thing. But when you know this is Esau, exactly. it's not, no, it's no longer just a thing. Exactly. Yeah. You know? And that hatred is perpetual. Perpetual. That's it. Was, it was one of 11. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's oh. right. Yeah. And it says... Okay. Yeah. yeah, but ye have set and not all my counsel and with none of my reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. Mm. Yeah. So the Lord's got a sense of what they what they call dark humor. Man. Yeah. Yeah. I will, I will mock when your fear cometh. Yeah. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind. When distress and anguish cometh upon you. 
then shall they call upon me. Yeah, like, like, like the bros were saying. Oh, wisdom prophets in the streets. Yeah? Yeah, because the family of the word is coming. That's it. That's don't, it. That's it. Don't, don't forget, don't be surprised if the internet gets shut down or yeah. people blacklisted and all of that. Yeah. Shadow banned, yeah. as brothers are experiencing. Yeah. yeah? If I could say real quick, because the you had the guy from Twitter, he left, and the new guy that's coming in, they're basically saying the new guy's not about free speech at all, right? The new guy that tweeted, he's not about free speech. And one of the things that he just brought out, for instance, is you can't upload pictures of someone without their without their consent. So, like for instance, I, I go on Twitter for a lot of breaking news. Mm. Like for instance, when um when America was bombing Syria, I was just watching it and. You know, all live almost from people out there. Now you block that bit of information off. Now they can just be like, no, this was removed for violating policy. Mm. Where East was basically shutting down access to all forms of truth. Mm. But the form of truth he's worried about the most is the truth coming from starting off the apostles on down. Man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's Amos chapter 8, verse 11. Mm. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh Mashem Yahweh Shai, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water. So listen, listen to what the scripture is saying. Not a, what's a famine? A famine is a shortage of something, right? A lack of something. Now, as the scripture is saying, typically it would be of food and water. No, that is coming. Mm -hmm. It's written. It's written. It's written in Matthew twenty-four. You know, one of the beginnings of sorrows is famine. Famine, the the economy going down, hyperinflation, all of that. That is still coming in a, in a major way, but more importantly. As it goes yeah, on, yeah. We, we talk about the hyperinflation. Yeah, you see the devaluing of the dollar. Mm. We're seeing it. We see it during the first wave, and they're printing mm. trillions of dollars, de devaluing the dollar. Just mm. you know, yeah. pretty much printing more and more yeah. dollars. Yeah. You know, you're ruining the strength of it. Yeah, mm. and that, in, in turn, what's what's that doing to the strength of the dollar? That's you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It looks like these prices are skyrocketing because why? Because the, the strength of the dollar, it doesn't have the same spending power because there's more of it in circulation. Yeah. You see what I'm trying to say? So. Well, now you've got this, this new period. Who knows what's going to happen with this now? Yeah. You know, you see that what they went into the economy the first time, right? Yeah. So these people, you know, the moms and pop businesses, mm. they're already through. Mm. So what are they going to do now? People are going to talk themselves. Yeah. You know, we see people losing their minds now. It's just as men, you know, uh, men should be, uh, love is a, what? No, uh, love shall wax cold. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, you see people losing out yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, you know? hey, 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 I can see he's talking about the dollar. I saw one meme, man, and basically was liking the dollar to a, a cryptocurrency, right. right? Because it was like, if I told you that this crypto, right, has just been minted, right, the 80%, no, 25% of it has just been minted in the last year or this, that, and the other, and it was like, psych, that's the US dollar. <laughs> oh, that's, that's you know, that's the truth. it's the truth. It is the truth. It's the same thing. It's fiat. Let it be so. Yeah. You know, and you can see E is getting ready to basically collapse this system. That's the whole thing about these whole passports. Yeah. Everyone knows these passports don't do anything, mm -hmm. but these passports enable businesses to get ready for a you know a medium where you're do 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 everywhere with your ID. Your you know your ID. Mm -hmm. You know you can't say the word anymore. Right, with your ID on in all of these different services. That's why every single bank is talking about CBDC, central bank digital currencies, man. Mm -hmm. You know, that's the new big thing. Yeah. You know. And what, never, make some, never waste a major crisis. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, know, yeah. you see what they've been phasing out cash. Yeah. Because yeah. they're already at the, 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 you know, it can, it can live on cash yeah. to get rid of it. So yeah. you can see more and more contactless payments. Yeah. Certain yeah. stores you go into, oh, sorry, we don't take cash. Yeah. You know, so oh, oh, contactless only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not now, yeah. That now, so yeah, we're coming to that time, the Internet yeah. of Things, which you know? then they put on the environmental agenda on top of that. Well, you know, move all this money around. It's not good for the environment. Mm. You're gonna print all of this paper and this plastic. Mm -hmm. and you're gonna move it from the bank to there, and oh, mm. it's not safe for the security guards. All of these different. Places. And this is it's the thing, you know, the um, you know, the uh, elder, uh, elder brother Rukar and the um, elder RER do the, um, the, the, the algorithms. And you, we're basically seeing how all of these different agendas that Esau's been pushing at people for so long are now starting to intertwine. They're all starting to come together. The, you know, the, the vid agenda, you know, the um, CBDC agenda, the climate agenda, it's all part of the same machine. 
It says, it says, not a famine of bread, but not a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, Yahweh and shall not find it. Mm. So there's another scripture that says, seek the Lord while he may be found. So, so what does that tell you? There's going to be a time period where the words of the Lord, the doctrine, the name is not going to be heard of. Yeah, of hearing the words. Yeah, of hearing the words. Yeah. See mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So you've got to be careful in these last days, man. That that spiritual uh, um, um, arc, you know, that Noah was in, is closing, man. Mm -hmm. You know, and you want to be a part of that. You want to be a part of that, man. So it's not a time to be playing games or, or wasting time. So, no, but this is time to be to be getting in the truth and, and flooding the internet as, as much as possible, yeah. man. And give them no rest. Give them no rest, rest. yeah. Precept. Uh, this is Psalms 37 and verse 14. The wicked have drawn out the sword and have bent their bow to cast down the poor and needy and to slay such as be of upright conversation. And the reason I brought that is because of what you said. You know, this is only going to be a matter of time. You know, this 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 truth is going to be removed on the planet Earth, man, including the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So you literally got to get it while you can, like it says in Isaiah 55, yeah. man. Because Esau is getting ready to roll on the prophets, man. Yeah. Because we're the ones bringing out the truth. We are the mouthpieces, the mm -hmm. willing of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. So when we're removed, that's the word of, of Yahweh yeah. Shem Yahushai. The Lord don't require his word to be out there no more because he's ready to tear this place up. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're going to be removed out of, out of the equation soon. Some of us are going to be locked up in concentration camps. Some of us are just going to be, you know, reserved somewhere, wherever the Lord wants us mm -hmm. to be, man. You know, because we, you know, fulfilled that part of our journey. You know? That's right. Also, on that verse is um, 2nd Ezra 16 from verse 70. For they shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none. But still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. Reference, you had that guy from Sakari saying, Oh, my, my, my beam, my beam, dog, my, my say, whatever it was. No, nobody cares. The scripture says they shall take away their goods and cast away their house. What's all that going to mean when you're in a concentration camp? All these different you know, things that, you know, the, the, once again, that the Lord has allowed us to have, mm -hmm. right, mind you. Right, all of these different things, they're all gone go, man. That's why earlier on in the, in the chapter, verse 40 onwards, it talks about how we should be in these last days, man. Our mentality being as pilgrims, you know, on this yeah. earth. That there is no, that those that possess, as a, yeah. as they possess not. That's you it. Know, the sutra says that the fashion of this world passes away. Well, that's it. Is it no, why would you invest in a sinking, you know, a sinking yeah. ship? It don't yeah. make no sense. Yeah. I got real mm. quick, this is uh, First Timothy 6 and Seven, it says, "For we brought nothing into this world, mm. and it is certain we can carry nothing out." So, <laughs> straight to the point, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, hey, hey, everything that we have, yeah, you have washing your shade, the water. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, no how to be abound in the base. It's good to speak about daily bread, and that's it. I mean, we ain't supposed to be building up in this society, right? Yeah. You know, unless you end up like that fool. They live in the parable, but thou yes. fool. Mm. Yeah. He went to right. build yeah. this. Mm. Whole, I'm gonna build greater, mm. yeah. you know, to bestow all my fruit. I, I'm gonna live, you know, so I have everything. Mm. You know, he went to build greater. Where should I bestow all my fruits? Mm. And then, Lord, hey, thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. You know, so then now's not, now's not the time. Scripture says, lay not your up for yourself treasures on earth. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. where feet is great, fruit is still, yeah. mouth doth corrupt, exactly, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. A little bit more on this. So says, then shall they be, it's 1673. Mm. It says, then shall they be known who my chosen, or who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as gold on the fire. Right? And mm. you know, where the Lord is going to come and test this man, mm. you know, but as part of that, also, you know, the spirit, as we read, is going to be put upon uh, the Lord's elect man. Well, we read it earlier on, um, uh, uh, you know, when they shall come in as a flood. Flood, right? Then I shall set up a standard, mm -hmm. you know. So what, what 
in one we we we, we want you to come. <laughs> you know, as hard as we know, it's going to be a difficult period, but ultimately we want you to come because what our kids have come coming to you, though. Hey, when Esau turns up, you're all going to turn us. Up. That's it. That's it. How about that? When when hey when Esau turns up, yeah. At your door, whatever, yeah. that's when the Lord gonna turn us up. That's true. Yeah. You know, like whether it's through spiritual power, yeah. or whether it's just the Lord just putting that spirit upon us, fuck it. Do what yeah. you gotta do. That's yeah, the spirit, because yeah. I actually got that scripture and talks mm -hmm. about it, man. Matthew 10. If I may, my book shop. This is Matthew 10, verse uh, 17, and it says, But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils. And that's a turning up in your door. And they will scourge you in their synagogues. And you shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake. For a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So you've got to put this, put this in action. You've got to uh, think about this scenario. You know, they're dragging you out the door, booting down the house, got you on gunpoint, dragging you out, maybe uh, taking you to prison, taking you to a concentration camp, take, um, taking, to, taking you to a, a, a news live network to, to have you there, sit on a chair and put on deep fake on you, you know, Try and mimic your voice and shit like that, and if you you'll try to say something, but in the broadcast is coming out something else. You know, the things are gonna be happening, man. Yeah, they're gonna have us out there looking worse than Daryl. Yeah, exactly. So. You know, this fucking mm. pickup truck driver, mm. they're gonna be this dread nigga. Yeah. You know, whether he did it or not, who who mm. knows, man? Just yeah. a bug out. Yeah. But at the end of the day, they're gonna have us worse, mm. looking worse than that. Yeah. You know, having all your, you know, your old affiliates. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He took, you know, I used to know him was such a nice boy. Yeah, all well, of that. He grew up to be yeah. something big, yeah. you know. I started noticing a change in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? In your own family, man. Your own family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good point you're bringing up. Yeah, your old associates. What did I say? Yeah, he was caught cool up until, like, he didn't want to conform to society and take the yabs and all of that. Mm -hmm. MOTB. All of that's going to be put on blast. It had some strange yeah. views. No, 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 no. <laughs> radical views. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's going to be telling them, you know, them buzzwords. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I read them, you'll read from this card. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you do it live. Straight views. Would you say they were right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know that? He's only so, yeah. so suggestive. Yeah, put the card. That's it. That's kind of, it's quite radical. Yeah. That's it. That's it. He's a serpent. That's it. That's it. It says verse 19, but when they deliver you up, yeah, you deliver crisis actors, all of them, yeah? yeah. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what you shall speak. You know, that was going to what you were saying for the spirit. It says for, when they when they turn up, the mm. Lord will turn us up. Mm. You know what I'm right. saying? That's right. For it shall be given to you in the same hour, the same time, what you shall speak. For it is not you that not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. Mm. Yeah? And the brother shall deliver up. Deliver up the brother to death. So you're going to have family members, brothers, siblings, cousins going to deliver you up, sell you up, wrap you up. Go, go on, quick one on what you're reading, brother. It says Luke 21 15, for I'll give you a mouth of wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gain, say, nor resist. Oh, look at that, man. No, they're going to get cut. The Spirit of the Lord's going to cut them. Hey, that's, 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 like, no, no. that's why Gamaliel said in Acts 5, mm. he said, if this council be of men, yeah. Yeah. You know, um, it will come to naught. Yeah. You know, but if it be of the Most High, you cannot overthrow it. You can't. You can't. It's just, you know, but this, this truth is unstoppable. Yeah. You know, the more you throw at it, the stronger it comes forward. Yeah. The more shady you throw, like they they, they tried with the jersey shooting thing, mm. but guess yeah. what? Even in that, they ended up glorifying the name of the Lord. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting, and they, you know, yeah, how coming. is coming. So, yeah. but you can't do nothing against the scripture. Yeah. You can't do yeah. nothing. Yeah. Second Corinthians 13 and 8. Mm. But we can do nothing against the truth, mm. but for the truth. For and that's it. You can't do nothing against the truth. No matter what you throw at the truth, guess what? It just keeps coming back stronger. Mm. Right? What do, they, what do they say? Even in the world, all, public, all publicity is good public publicity. Yeah, yeah. You know, you're trying to paint us to be, you know, bug outs and this and that. Well, guess what? Hold on a minute. What are we saying that's just so bugged out? We're, yes, we're cursing out pedophiles, chemtrails, yeah, yeah, yeah. Monsanto, GMOs. We're yeah, cursing yeah. out. You know, the, the oppression. Yeah. We're cursing out all of these things, but that's so bugged out, right? That's yeah. so fucking, you know, we're, we're cursing out pizza gate, spirit cooking, yeah. all kinds of shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, bro. Yeah. I mean, yeah, well, let's just throw it in there. Yeah. 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 You know, child sacrifices. Well, where are all these Jake children going yeah. missing? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, your new world order. We're cursing out. You want to make, 
You with Georgia yeah. Gladstone. Yeah, yeah. You want to maintain human. Yeah. That's exposing them. Yeah, that's you want to maintain human yeah. population yeah. around five hundred billion. Let's 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 tell it like it is. Yeah. When you put it in your movies. Yeah. 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 You know. That's why like the scripture talk about the shameful spirit. Mm. Mm. That's that's right. Right. You want to try and accuse us of yeah. radical views and they're talking about slavery and Edomite. Yeah, mm. that's all true though. Yeah. 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 But let's talk about you. What yeah. You yeah. Like. What he's like. Yeah. 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 Yeah, for children there. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Chained up, getting used as sex slaves. Mm. Come on. Come on. have been seeing Mac. Mac, so it's a minor attracted persons. Mm. They're making that mainstream. Basically, wow. they're mainstream in pedophilia now. Wow. That's the we've been seeing. Yeah. 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 yeah, they yeah, they, they, they generally when you get you get you know the alphabet people are like, yo, don't be adding Mac to this. Yeah. But Mac is being added, minor attracted pers uh, yeah. persons, man. Yeah. Right? Not look, notice how they change the name. This is Esau people, mm -hmm. right? Good, because when you call a man a pedophile, yo, you pedophile man, kill this motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Call him a minor attracted person now. You humanize them. Mm -hmm. Right? You make you feel sorry for them. This is good. Yeah. But we said it, which would explain why you got the whole Prince Andrew thing in the news. Mm. Of all people, Prince Andrew, the prince, mm. right? So it's all of these different things. Esau doesn't do anything by mistake, man. You know? Mm -hmm. That's right, man. That's right. And they said, let me finish up in Matthew 10 and verse uh, 20, 21. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father the child, and the children shall rise up against their parents. And cause them to be put to death. Mm. So it's gonna get snitch. snitch, yes. Yeah, they were pushing that. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they were pushing that with, with the, um, the lockdowns. The, the lockdowns, yeah. <laughs> She's breaking the rules. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and and you, you were hearing already, like, uh, people that are not um, taking this masking seriously, you can get up to 10 grand, man. You know, fine, nice. Like, so, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and bare people are broke, so they want that money, man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he's been out twice today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you got, you got neighborhood snitches there. Yeah, yeah. I saw him go for two jobs. Yeah. I mean, come on, yeah. bro. What, what is going on out here, man? You can't even walk around your block. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I spoke to one chick from Australia. She yeah. said that there was helicopters. And she was probably just, I said, well, I said well, you got out of there, huh? She was like, yeah, it was crazy over there. She said there was helicopters with fucking... That megaphone wow. said, get in your house. Wow. I remember in remember there's that lightning lockdown in Melbourne. And there was there was troops on every fucking tower, like there's a tower block on every landing, on every street. Oh, yeah, 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 there was yeah, a yeah. there was a troop outside the doors, man, patrolling wow. and shit, making sure everyone was inside. So listen, man, this shit's gonna be like V for vendetta on steroids. Yeah. Remember when they had curfews and shit? Yeah. Yeah. And you had the finger men, yeah. and they were out there, so come on, get done. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, if you yeah, go out yeah, onto yeah, certain yeah. Certain yeah, times, yeah. the curfews are using that. It, it's yeah. coming, bro. Yeah. Martial law, you know. Mm. That dehumanizes because once again, he will spin it as well. She shouldn't have been out. She shouldn't have been out. Mm. She, <laughs> she violated her. Yeah. her. Yeah. She could. She was killing your grandma. You see? <laughs> <laughs> Spreading her this, yeah, yeah. disease. Yeah. Come on, man. And that's that yeah. division again. That's yeah. that yeah. you know yeah. putting yeah. the putting the uh, you know the dragon juices yeah. Yeah. against yeah. Yeah. the un, you know the un. The unboosted, yeah, because yeah. you, you have a load of them that are like, Well, at this point, they can just die. I'm done caring for them. They yeah. had the thing, right? They didn't want to take it, they can just die. Yeah, yeah they're gonna get to that stage. Oh man, there was a story that I read, man. New story basically, right. like you had um, some woman and her husband both got sick with a thing, right? And then the dogs uh, died because there was no one to look after the dogs. People cared about the dogs, not the people. Wow. Right now, you think about why that's so important during the time of slavery when Jake was just being lynched. What did they call Jake? Well, he's, he's not even, it's not even a human, right? right? So, when you dehumanize a man to the point where it's like, man, I feel sorry for the dog, but they, I mean, they had, they had, they could have got the thing, right? You're basically saying you don't, you don't care what happens to those individuals, man. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, yeah, but most of the people that are falling ill are those that have had the thing, exactly. So, yeah. so what the fuck's going on, man? We got, I personally heard a chick. You know, talk out loud, talking about, I've got the first one, but I'm not getting a second one. Yes. And the guy was like, well, why? Because my period ain't right. So wow. then she's fucked. Yeah. You know, she's actually, I'm walking down the street, I'm on my job, and I'm hearing this. I'm hearing, I'm hearing the, the, the dragon juice, the boost is getting cursed out. Wow. I'm just on my job. I'm like, okay. So and and so people, people down the street be cursing out the boost. Yeah. 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 You know? Hey. I went for like two, three months ago. I went to the chip shop and the woman, that same chip shop, yeah. And the woman that was serving me, she was saying how she just got the boost 
And she was dizzy, bro. She was just like, yeah. I think I'm gonna have to sit down, and then she just disappeared around the back. And I ain't seen her since. No, she's disappeared. I ain't seen her at the show since. Nice to see her, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice to see her. Had a little chat, you know. You know, I don't know if she's dead. I'm not saying she's dead, but she's nowhere to be seen. You know. But you know, brother, the one of the problems, man. I shall laugh you because this is what the Lord was speaking about, man. Right, because the Lord is laughing through us. When these things before you, mm. right, we're laughing. That's the Lord making us laugh at you, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Now, what Priest said, uh, 2 Corinthians 2 and 11, it says, Lest Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices, man. And the Lord in the scripture that said, he's gonna, the Lord is going to disappoint the devices of the crafty, man. And the main device that Esau really wants to push out here. It's just pretty much electronically tag you, man. Yeah. He wants to make you that perpetual slave, man. Wow. Okay, that's what it's leading up to. So first, it's gonna, he's going to call the population. You know, mm. Georgia guy is throwing up the thing. Mm. You know, he's going to take out a bunch of people. And then he's like, okay, look, push that. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So it's getting to that stage now. And it's gradualism. People are already taking the boost. If you take them boosts, then you you know you you pretty much ready to get you know a rug it up, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is put it like it is. And then you see certain words, they're like, strike him. You know what I mean? They strike the page, but hey, it is what it is. These are these prophecies. And John the Revelator saw people getting the karagma, man. Exactly. They were getting, you know, they were getting carved up. You know, they were getting them, you know, that no man might buy or sell, man. You know. So in Revelation 12 and 12, it says, Therefore rejoice mm. ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Walton in the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, the deceiver, has come down onto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And we're seeing that spirit. He's pushing that jab, that yam. Yeah. No, people are on the, the fourth dose. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Gonna, get, gonna get the fifth and the sixth. <laughs> they're, they're, they're already talking about giving it to minors, or yeah. the people of age 12 and up. Yeah. You know, all of that. Yeah. So they, they're pushing it further. They, just do it quick yeah. as possible. They push him. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that demon there, Javin. Yeah. 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 yeah, man. You know, they're all oh. pushing it, man. The member, yeah. members of parliament. And so yeah. they, Esau's not playing games, but yeah. guess what? This is all the will of the Most yeah. High. Hey, in Canada, man, now oh, you, yeah. can't, you can't bloody even get on a train, man. You can't get on a plane or a train. Oh. You know, just domestically. You can't get on a plane or a train unless you've had the thing. They no longer accept test running. You have to have had the thing. Mm -hmm. But these times will then tell you that everyone who's had the new one, the O, right, they were all thingied up. Mm -hmm. So it's like, what? So does your thing work or not? Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, since you said that, this is the second edge of 15 mm -hmm. and 17. And a man shall desire to go into a city mm -hmm. and shall not be able. Wow. You know, straight into the point. Hey, mm -hmm. hey that's prophecy right prophecy, there. Man. You can't get on certain public transports mm -hmm. in certain places. You know, you. Hey, uh, people are under house arrest in the first wave. Yeah, you, yeah, you, yeah, you ain't going yeah. nowhere. Yeah. You know? <laughs> so, hey, you, just, you know, it's going to be like that. Remember Songbird, man? Remember that, yeah, that yeah. movie that came out, Songbird? We had to, there's going to be checking stations, man, yeah. with troops there. You know, and the guy had to wave his wristband. I'm a mule, got on his knees and shit. Yeah. They were like, get down! Mm. And in that movie, they had concentration camps and shit. Exactly. Oh, earlier, the brother mentioned Kingsman. You know, oh, in Kingsman, cool. Golden Circle, oh, they cool. even showed you, they turned... Uh, football stadiums into yeah, concentration yeah, camps, yeah, yeah, yeah. and there were people stacked up on cages, banging up. Ah, ah. Mm. They were trapped in there, bro. Yeah. So they're letting you know what they're, they're planning to do to you. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And uh, Biden's just extended the uh, mass mandate through mid March. So it's the thing we understand all these things. They're just mm. gonna keep adding more and more and more and more. Mm. You know, stone. You know, let's say this this old one is is miles. Don't be expect the one after that. <laughs> be deadly, man. Because this man is going to play this thing to the ground. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let's. Uh, if anyone got some more precepts, start. Um, yeah. I've got, I got cool. yeah. This is um, John chapter 10, verse 10. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundant. You know, and if you look at Esau, man, Esau is all about destruction. You know, the brother mentioned the Georgia guy stones. Every step this guy takes is death. Yeah. You know? But hey, life is through your whole shine, man. That's coming on to the elect of the nation of Israel. And through the elect, eventually, Israel's going to be okay in the kingdom. You know? 
Hey, it's sweet to say that Esau is as death. Mm -hmm. You know, in the, in the book of Habakkuk, you know, the prophet Habakkuk, he said that for Habakkuk too. You know, he is his death. No matter where Esau goes, he's his death, man. You know, he's the master of disaster. You know, he's a dark cloud on the earth. He just, oh, the scripture speak about power was given unto him that sat there and to take peace from the earth, the red horse. Esau either, man. He wasn't set up to give peace to the earth. That's not his job. His, his job is to be the wicked. Yeah. You know, and he's doing what he's supposed to do. That's why oh, we, we don't get mad. He's a family barber's movie. And we understand that Esau is just, he's just a devil, man. He's just a virus on the earth that's, you know, soon to be deleted, man. You know, yeah, we just got away. Yeah, that's it. Oh, it's literally like that buzzword so much. Yeah, that's the real reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we need a reset. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a reset. Yeah, yeah. We know what reset that's you're talking that's about, that's but it ain't gonna be what you think. That's right. <laughs> you know? that's yeah. I've got, um, I've got Job chapter 13, verse 4. But ye are forgers of lies, ye are all physicians of no value. You know, everyone's running to you. You got people lining up at the GPs, mm -hmm. the general practitioners. <laughs> Do it, boost me. Everyone's getting jump started. What are you going to these witches and warlocks for? Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. you going to these pharmaceutical companies that the word pharmacy goes back to the Greek pharmakeia, mm -hmm. which means witchcraft, sorcery. You know, and I'll be scrolling through Instagram sometimes, man. I'll, you know, I have my little account on there sometimes. I'll be just looking at things. Mm -hmm. And I see, I say, hold on a minute. People be put, putting information like this up. Hold on a minute. The apostles are the one that pushes going into the meanings of words. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm thinking these guys are all coming out with these fake woke people. Yeah. yeah, this is what it means and all that. But listen, bro, where did you get that from? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? And that came from the grapevine. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Start with the apostles and the elders on down from the spirit, man. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Going into the meanings of words, going into the Hebrew, the Greek, the Latin. Mm -hmm. That's where that's what the apostles have been telling us to go into, man. So when you go to these companies and these doctors, what does the word doctor mean? To, you know, to to uh, to, to basically to pull some yeah. That's what it means, man. You, so they're forges of lies, mm -hmm. positions of no value. You're going up to these guys to get boosted, seeking advice, all these fucking pills that they give you, what all kinds of demons that come attached to them, mm -hmm. side effects and that and whatever. Yeah. You know? So it's it's bullshit, bro. And it's good to tell you that his words in his mouth are smoother than bark, but war is in his heart. Yeah, so. You know? They're so his words are softer than oil. Yet, where they draw what swords, swords, man? Swords. These swords blessing is a sword. Yeah. Okay, the scripture said it was given unto him a great sword, mm -hmm. and he's using that to take peace from the earth, man. Yeah. All right, so we're not even with that, you know. Yeah. And especially like when you have the he's not even really tell telling you what's going on because you talk about the pills, talk about you get them people like that quote crazy. Right, he's was giving them pills, but he's not telling you what is on them, and they just got demons on them, and that's it. When you yeah. understand that, so like, oh, okay, cool. So why are you giving them pills if they just put demons on? Cast the demons off. <laughs> oh, but boy, it's a Christian country. Yeah, right? yeah. 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 Oh, like, of course, listen, when's the last time they called for an actual yeah. prayer? Yeah, that's it. Mm. No, but talking about in God we trust. That's it. You know what I mean? You know, you're going to talk about, you know, you want to swear, you want to swear your presidency on the Bible. Yeah. When's the last time you even called for a national prayer? That's all that's that's it. Hmm. I mean, you don't do that. <laughs> Yeah, because you, as you say, it takes it to cast the instruction, man. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, the wicked. Mm. Yeah, that's it, man. Mm. Yeah, so, that's it. I don't know. That's it, yeah. Anyone got anything? Any closing statements, anything? Kind of, hey, well, you know, as always, you know, if it was one of them, we could have gone on forever because um, the spirit was flowing. Mm. Um, you know, uh, but yeah, it's, you know, Lord's Lord, I was edifying, you know. Um, so we could not go and close up. Uh, give all praise to Yahweh, 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 Yahwe